Hello all. In this tutorial, we'll see about the exception handling in C# -sharp programming. So, exception handling it is a mechanism that is used to handle exceptions in runtime. There are two types of exceptions. They are user-defined exceptions and predefined exceptions. In case of user-defined exceptions, you needn't write any explicit coding in order to handle it. There are some predefined classes that is used to handle these uh, user-defined functions. Some of some of the examples of user defined functions are file not found exception, array overflow exception, index out of rate exception, and so on. Now, moving on to user defined exceptions, here you have to write explicit coding in order to handle these kinds of exceptions. So, now let's see an example program that will illustrate this. Uh, in order to ex um, in order to uh, implement the c -sharp program, I'm going to use Visual Studio 2015. So, first you go to File, New, Project. Here you would have selected Visual c -sharp and now the program that we will be implementing is uh, in console application so select console application okay so in this window here this is where you will be coding uh, for this program Using system package alone is sufficient, so you can delete these packages. So using is actually a keyword that is used to include a package into the program. So now in order to uh, implement a program that will show us the example of user defined exception, I'll be considering a scenario wherein uh, there is a bank where you can uh, deposit as well as withdraw money. So just in the case of normal scenario, uh, if you you can deposit how much ever money you want, but in case of withdrawal, the amount you withdraw must be less than the balance. In case that the amount is greater than the balance, then the program will throw an exception. This exception has to be handled by another class which uh, predefined class called as the insufficient fund exception which uh, inherits the base class exception so let's see how the coding works so first i will create a class class bank Inside the class bank, I have a data member int balance. And here I'll have two methods, one to deposit and one to withdraw. So in case of depositing, you can deposit as much money you want. So there wouldn't be any problem in that. Here the amount is the amount of money that I want to deposit at a particular time. So that would have to be added to the ba existing balance. Yes, so this is what happens when you deposit and here I'm going to leave a message. So the console.writeLine statement it is used to uh, display any message to the console. So the deposit method is completed. Next you go for the withdraw method. So 
so in case your uh, amount to be withdrawn is less than the balance then there wouldn't be any problem you can just withdraw that cash so i am going to repress this scenario as if your amount is less than the balance then i would just detect that amount from my balance And I am going to display a message here. So the problem arises when your amount to be withdrawn is greater than the balance. So it would be here I can also withdraw an amount which is less than or equal to your balance. So only if the amount to be withdrawn is greater than the balance, the excess a problem. So in the else part, what do I do if the amount uh, is greater than the balance that is if my amount is greater than the balance then what i do is i have to throw an exception to an insufficient fund exception class that would have inherited from the base exception class so i'm going to throw this exception throw Here the exception would be thrown to uh, another class which will handle this exception. The parameter passed here is actually a low balance message. So in the constructor of this insufficient fund exception class, you must uh, ha you must pass this message which will be passed on to the base exception class which will automatically display this error message. So now we'll have to define um, another class that is used to handle the exception which is class insufficient fund exception and this class will be inheriting from the base exception class so this is how we will give an inheritance. Now we will create a constructor for this class. So and as it has inherited from the base class uh, exception, you will also call the constructor of the base exception class here. And now calling on to the base constructor of the base exception class would be
so when you throw the exception it would be this way sorry so uh, in the constructor of the insufficient fund exception class you have invoked the constructor of the base exception class so once this is invoked you will find that the message that is uh, in case the amount to be withdrawn is greater than your balance then the message low balance has to be displayed so this will be passed as a parameter to the base class exception which will be displayed So now inside the main class what you do is you will create an object for the bank class. And uh, for any type of exception you have three main blocks they are the try block catch block and the finally block the try block is used uh, in order to hold any code from which an exception is expected to occur and in case of the catch block this is where you will handle the exception the finally block is actually an optional block with which um, may or may not be given this will have any default uh, performance that is to be uh, performed in case the exception is handled or ha it is not handled. So we will have the three blocks which are the try block and the catch block. The finally block is not uh, necessary or it's not mandatory to have the finally block so I'm not including it in this code so what I do is I'm going to uh, call the deposit function first I'll deposit 10,000 in cash and then let's say I'm going to okay just say that I have deposited 10,000 cash and in case of the catch block I should catch the exception insufficient fund um, and in case that is an exception I have to display the message so that would be console dot right line of a if this is going to be the code then after execution the console will not be held in order to hold the console you have to give another statement which is console dot read key this is used to hold the console for some time so I guess the program is correct so currently I have just deposited 10,000 let's see how the program works so in order to run the program I have to select the start button yes so i have deposited 10000 so the output here is your current balance is 10000 so now let's check by withdrawing an amount less than 10000 so let's say i have withdrawn sorry withdrawn 2000 rupees so in this case I shouldn't have an exception because the amount that I withdraw is less than my bank balance which is 10,000 so let's see what happens yes so my current balance is 
10,000 that is because first I have deposited 10,000 then as I have withdrawn 2,000 rupees from my balance therefore now my current balance is 10,000 minus 2,000 which is 8,000 so now let's see what happens if I'm going to withdraw even more So now my balance would be 8,000. Now if I am going to withdraw the remaining 8,000 rupees also I shouldn't be having an exception because I am withdrawing whatever money I have in my account. So just I have said your current balance is zero because you have withdrawn the entire amount from your account. Now after this if you are going to withdraw even a one coin then there must be an exception so now let's see this even if i'm going to withdraw one rupee this would throw me an error or exception sorry so i'm going to withdraw three thousand rupees so that would be yes so my current balance was 10,000 when I deposited 10,000 rupees. Once I withdrew 2,000 from my account, it became 8,000. And then when I withdrew the rest of the 8,000 rupees from my account, my current balance was zero. After this, when I tried to withdraw 3,000 rupees more, this has thrown me an exception. And the exception message is displayed here as low balance this is what we gave in our code and this has been displayed here so in this tutorial we have seen how except user defined exceptions will be handled by giving some explicit coding so thank you i hope you enjoyed the video